Hi everybody. Uh, this is Ashley with Marsh Flower Studio. In this video, sorry for my squeaky chair, um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the wings for this little dragon and some of the spikes. Um, now you can do the wings and the spikes in whatever color you want, of course. Um, I'm doing the wings for my little dragon in white. And I'm going to be doing his spikes in this lovely kind of, well, let's see what the color name is. This is called Soft Sage. It's really more of like a light teal. But we're going to be using this Soft Sage for the spikes. And then I'm going to add a few other embellishments to him uh, with this kind of light sage color. So, to get started with the wing, you're going to have your magic circle. With your six single crochets. For a minute I was looking at my colors here and it looked like I had two different shades of white, which is <laughs> not terribly uncommon for me. Um, so we'll pull this tight, then we'll do a row of six, increase, no, six single crochets, sorry. Oh, my brain is just not working right now. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Our next row will be six increases. So we'll end up with 12 stitches in the end. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve. All right, for our next row, we're gonna have a row of 12 single crochets. And this is how we're gonna repeat the pattern all the way to uh, when we have 30 stitches. So we're gonna have our 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So now we'll have a row of eighteen. So one and two and three, four and five and six, seven and eight, nine. 10 and 11, then 12, 13 and 14, 15, 16 and 17, and then 18. So then we'll do our single crochet row. 18, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and 18. All right. 
Uh, so for our next row, we'll do an increase out to 24. One and two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight, nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen and fourteen, fifteen and sixteen, seventeen and eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, so now a single crochet, oh, a row of 24 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Now we will have our increase row out to 30. So I'm going to do one, two, three, and then four and five in the same. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten in the same. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 in the same, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 in the same, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 in the same, and 26, 27, 28, and then 29 and 30 in the same. So again, we'll do our single crochet row of 30 and then I will show you how we're going to close up the bottom of this wing. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. We'll do our slip stitch fold this guy in half. We can tuck our starting end down inside. We're going to do five single crochets through both sides of this wing at the opening. So we're going to do one, two, three, four and five and then we're gonna do I don't think I've ever been able to pronounce this word correctly I call it a pico stitch um, but we're gonna chain three and then you're gonna put slip stitches in the two chains that are not right next to the hook so you're gonna skip that first one closest to the hook and then you're going to slip stitch in both of these two. And then we'll do five more single crochets right into the very next stitch. So that's one, two, 
three, four, and five. So we'll do that again. One, two, three chains, and then two slip stitches. And there are different ways that people do that stitch. Some skip both chains that are closer to the hook and just do a slip stitch back into the first chain. Either way works. And then we'll do single crochets all the way to the end of this wing here. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut my yarn, pull it through, and now I can use that to sew my wings on when I'm ready. All right, so for the spikes, you can do as many or as few as you want to do. Um, the size that I am planning to use, we're going to do a magic circle with four single crochets. So one, two, three, four. You can really create any kind of triangle shape um, that you like. So you could have bigger spikes or you could do smaller spikes. Um, our next row is going to be four increases, so we'll end up with a total of eight. So that's one and two, three and four, five and six. Seven and eight. All right. In our third row, we're going to do an increase and a single crochet, and that'll get us up to 12 for our stitch count. And then we will be done with creating this little spike. So one and two, three. Four and five, six, seven and eight, nine, ten and eleven for twelve. I'm gonna do my little slip stitch to finish it off down here at the bottom. I'm gonna cut some yarn tail so that I can sew this to the body. And you can have them be round or you can flatten them and sew them kind of like this. If you're going to flatten them and sew them on, I would recommend doing a row of single crochets along the bottom just to make it a little easier on yourself. I'm probably going to sew mine on in more of a rounded shape. So I'm not going to close the bottom of the spike in. Um, I will also put a little bit of stuffing inside as I'm sewing it on. And I'll leave the tail out so that I can use it to tie off when I'm finished. And then I'll hide the ends inside here. But you can put them on the head top of the head, going down the back of the head. You can have them going down the back of the body, all the way to the tail. It's really up to you. So you can do a couple, or you can do, you know, as many as you can possibly fit scrunched up together all the way up his back and up around the top of his head. Okay, so remember to hit that thumbs up button and give a like for the video. And don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all the other videos. 
Um, if you have anything that you would like to see me make in the future, pop it in the comments, as well as if you have a recommendation for a name for this cute little dragon, pop that in the comments as well. All right. See you next time.